It's an invasive insect now threatening crops and threatening the economy. And the spotted lanternfly is spreading in Pennsylvania. Today, state officials ran down what they're doing to try to stop it. Matt Heckel reports. Yeah, well, officials called Pennsylvania ground zero for the spotter and lantern fly in the United States. It was first discovered in Berks County in 2014, and the problem has since only gotten worse. The spotted lantern fly uh, is an invasive pest, uh, and it is invasive in every way. The spotted lantern fly is native to Asia, but four years ago was discovered in Berks County, Pennsylvania, and has since spread to 13 counties threatening the state's agriculture. Pennsylvania is ground zero uh, in the United States for the spotted lantern fly. On Monday, the state and U.S. Departments of Agriculture gave an update to the spotted lantern fly containment and control program. We have been working uh, to raise the awareness uh, about the spotted lantern fly. $3 million in the state's budget, along with $17.5 million in funding from the USDA, has gone toward education and research, as well as a $1.9 million statewide survey to make sure the insect isn't spreading any further. Early detection is critical to prevent further economic and ecological losses. Businesses in quarantine zones are being required to ensure employees are permitted, even using these tags in order to travel outside the state. State vehicles are also being permitted, and residents are being asked to look out for the insect before leaving areas where it's already been found. Hey, the spotted lanternfly, as we have learned, is an excellent hitchhiker. Uh, we do not want it traveling with us. And if you live outside the quarantine zone and believe you may have seen the spotted lantern fly, a hotline has been set up for you to call. That's 1 888 4 Bad Fly. In Harrisburg, Matt Heckel, Jet 24 Action News. Right, thanks, Matt. Erie International Airport is now looking to make improvements on one of its taxiways. The regional airport authority is now looking for bids for construction for the realignment and rehabilitation of taxiway A. It also calls for the relocation of the hold bay at the airport. The airport will accept bids for the project until the morning of Friday, August 24th.